This is the Transformers Generation Select War for Cybertron Trilogy Deluxe Class Hot House. Very cool. I picked up this set uh, from my local Toy Kingdom uh, toy store for a whopping $29. And luckily for me, this weekend was sort of like a Black Friday weekend. They were doing this uh, three-day sale. It's actually the first big weekend sale for a lot of the malls here in Manila ever since the lockdown. So everybody's just on sale. They're jumping the bandwagon of these of this Black Friday weekend sales and all that, just like in the U.S. And for us, it's like a three-day weekend sale. And I got it a 10% discount, so I only paid for it um, $26. Not too bad, okay? But I did like the mold. If you've seen my review of Airwave, I do like this mold. And to get the Autobot version of this awesome dynamic battle station playset for your MicroMasters was something was very difficult to resist not getting, especially for that price. So here he is. Oh, wow. You know what, um, I've, when it was first revealed uh, through Hasbro Pulse, I looked at the colors and I was like, oh man, really? Really, you guys? Are you just going to play around and fool around with these colors as though you're going to make, what, Duplo, Duplo colors uh, <laughs> for Transformers? I Im immediately dismissed this uh, figure. And then, now, looking at him, the colors actually work. I'm sorry, I judged too quickly. I think the colors look great. They actually work. Let let's get him out of packaging so we can get him get a better look at this guy. And here is Hot House out of packaging. And boy, do these colors work. I don't know what it is with these kitty Lego block colors that just makes me like this figure for some reason it's i can't explain it they they do work look at this some nice highlights here which we'll see more of in alt mode all the panels most of the panels have a lot of de of details that fire station so i guess he's a fire brigade type of battle station clearly you you won't mistake him for anything but an autobot two autobot logos on the same arm very nice look at this guy superhero landing i mean look how cool he is decepticons you shall not pass Oh my god, look how cool this thing is. In terms of mold degradation, I don't think there's a lot to talk about. It's The joints still feel tight. It's as though this mold was made for the first time. And they used it for this character. Everything seems to be tight and nothing too loose to make you feel that they've overworked the mold. If you didn't already know, um, Hot House is a direct repaint and redeco of Decepticon Airwave from Earthrise. They didn't change anything. That's probably the only comment I'll have for this figure. Everything looks great. I just wish they could have given him a slightly different head sculpt instead of just a straight out, flat out repaint. Nevertheless, I am very impressed with the mold, especially with Airwave, and I think I will be equally pleased with this figure. Uh, if you're wondering if the orange is the same, it does appear to be, but Hot House is a smidge, like a tint uh, brighter than this one. This one feels a little bit muted. Great head sculpts, but I think Airwave did it better. I still like Hot House. I love that gunmetal gray face. Very cool. And that Ace McCloud blue helmet. So given that they are the exact same robot, same figure, just different in colors, we're not going to do a transformation demonstration. If you want to know how to transform uh, any, these figures into their three different battle station battle modes, please check out my review on this guy. Airwave. It's on my channel, Decepticon Airwave. And here they both are in their battle cannon alt mode. And you know what? Hot House actually 
pulls this off very nicely and given that he is a i guess a firefighting uh type of battle station these could be like water cannons or fire suppressant cannons like kind of reminds me of transformers animated uh, optimus prime who was a fire truck and this could be blasting away all the, the autobots and he'd like be protecting them with some foam dousing out all the fire anyway uh one thing i did forget to do with this one is if you do have a micromaster figure you can actually have him mounted on this cannon and it works beautifully <laughs> And here they are both in their land fortress or mobile fortress command center or city battle mode. And I think Hothouse pulls it off a lot better than Airwave. I mean, Airwave looks great. Look at this. But Hothouse, come on. This feels like, you know, it's on a rail and it's a mobile station on, on a railway. And this one feels like it's on, on the ground or or I don't know, on the um, off-road uh, terrain type of vehicle. And this one's on the rail. Well, there's danger. We need hot house. So I think this is pretty cool. You can obviously do connect them and, you know, they'd form like Autobot and Decepticon City side by side, you know, but uh, that wouldn't work. So we'll put Airwave right there. And just to accessorize hothouse you can have some of the other uh micro masters right here i mean it's really up to you i mean there's no one way to do it accessorize with other land-based micro masters uh, this one's getting off transformed where's the truck here put like a truck right here and then where's the other car right here so yeah he he does look great as a city solar sort of mobile uh, command station you can put that space shuttle looks great i didn't even think it would fit right there but you know it's up to your imagination i think it will work it works beautifully and you can see right there the logo the fire state it says fire station you know like it could be ghostbusters right there <laughs> i'm kidding so really cool i'm loving loving the alt modes of hot house and here they are both in my favorite battle mode, alt mode, which is the sort of aircraft carrier, land aircraft carrier, vehicle deployment, a battle mode. And I, like I said, in both other modes, Hot House really pulls it off nicely. I love this. I mean, it kind of feels like a version of Metroplex or Fortress Maximus that you could combine with. Uh, between the two ice... I think in this uh, battle mode, I think Airwave wins it. I mean, the previous uh, two previous uh, battle modes, uh, Hot House, I think, was the winner. But for this final mode, I think Airwave is the be is the better one. I just simply love this alt mode. Big fan of this. But uh, enough of Airwave today. We're talking about Hot House, and since uh, what, what can I put here? You can put the space shuttle right here. You can be like a docking bay uh, for these guys <laughs> or he could be on land he could be transporting some military vehicles this could be really cool as well like you know send in reinforcements hot house so yeah very very cool i like this and if you really wanted to, you could just cram all your MicroMasters on board Hot House, and I think you'd still pull it off. Look at that. <laughs> Everybody fits. And so some final thoughts on this figure. I think Hot House is a great figure. I mean, I already love the figure mold uh, with Airwave, and to have another figure, this time an Autobot, in the form of Hot House was just a treat for me.
I love what Hasbro has been doing with their Earthrise figures. And now we're getting them from the Generation Select. Some really, really nice redecos and repaints of existing figure molds. Well done, Hasbro. The figure is going to get a 9 out of 10 for me. I really love this figure. I think it's a great figure. Let me know in the comment section what you think of Hot House. I'd be interested to know if you guys are interested to pick this figure up or it's a pass for you or it's uh, another wait for a clearance type of figure. Hit me up in the comment section and as always hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. If it's your first time here, please subscribe and if you want to help the channel out, help me make more video reviews, please check out my Patreon account. There is a link in the description box below. Any form of contribution will be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching.